welcome back to the channel if you're new here hello my name is Liddell and I am an American that lives in Daegu South Korea with my husband and two girls Johanna and Isabella if you're not new here hello welcome back thank you so much for sticking with me I know I've been MIA and in this video I'm attempting to not be MIA again and to explain what's been up with hey me. Guys, so stay it tuned. It is the now Liddell. I'm editing this video and I just wanted to pause because I know in the video I'm like, everything's great, everything's fine. And normally everything would be, but I didn't want you all to think that I recorded that um, as the tragedy here in Korea was happening or had happened. Um, I was not that was before then of course right now the country is mourning and we mourn with them um it was a very scary time for all of us it's a very scary and sad time for a lot of people currently so i didn't want you guys to think that i was recording that and saying everything was awesome when we were dealing with this uh national tragedy so my hearts go out to the families and the friends that lost their loved ones um and yeah, that's all I can pretty much say about that. I am still pretty heartbroken. All right, back to the video. Okay, so today I went and checked out the new Starbucks here in town. It is the new Hanuk Starbucks here in Daegu and everybody's excited about it. So I had to go check it out. Uh, it's been around now for I want to say two weeks. So I finally got a chance to go check it out as you guys have seen and it's cute. It is cute, but I, I have no other reason to ever go back there. I am not a huge Starbucks fan. Since being here, I'm not a huge Starbucks fan, only because there's so many other great chain and non-chain uh, coffee shops to check out. So, it was cute though. It is super cute. Um, right now, it's not a great, great place to get any work done or anything like that because it's super crowded because everyone is trying to visit it because it's new. But I think once the hype dies down, it will be a great place to go and check out and do your study or meet someone or whatever. I did get a chance to meet a new friend. She's someone that I had been speaking with virtually um, when she was in the States and then make her way over here to Daegu and we finally got to meet in person so that was exciting. But to catch you up on what's been going on in my life, I'm just going to rewind it back a little bit. This past school year, Johanna was in the fifth grade and it was the school year from hell. It was bad. I've never known Johanna to be that bad at school. And unfortunately, there were a lot of like telling mom and dad that, you know, I got it. I'm working on it. I'm working hard. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm doing all my work, blah, blah, blah. And she just wasn't. She had so many missing assignments and failed tests and things of that nature. And it was just really a struggle for her. And I'm not sure what the struggle was. I'm not sure if it was being overwhelmed after you know the pandemic and i was burnt out from trying to help her keep her head above water in school i was just really burnt out because i was spending a lot of time trying to save her and i'd rather be proactive than reactive and there was a lot of time spent being reactive and trying to help her get back on track <clears throat> so i was exhausted from that so bring us to june june was her promotion from fifth grade to sixth grade and imagine my surprise when they are calling out you know those that are on the honor roll and i hear her name i scream and it was hilarious because i was literally the only parent that screamed gasped or anything when their child was awarded the certificate for being on the honor roll but it was because this past year was so darn hard i just couldn't believe that she had made the honor roll like how is that even possible we struggled the whole year it was crazy it was bananas so yeah we really struggled there but she picked it up at the end and now she is in the sixth grade she's in middle school she's having a little bit of issues with math same old same old like math has been her issues they started a year with geometry though that is not her thing it's not my thing it's not my husband's thing like she gets it honest we all struggle with geometry um but otherwise she's doing well so <sighs> that is a sigh of relief okay so after she graduated from fifth grade we went to thailand and this is like i'm supposed to do this video after having up 
updated you all with Thailand videos and all that. We were so tired. Number one, Thailand was absolutely amazing, gorgeous, everything. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous place. But I'm going to explain this in my Thailand videos. Thailand reminded me a lot of the U.S. in how tiring it can be. Like in the U.S., I feel like you're looking over your shoulders a lot because of certain things. And um, in Thailand, you're looking over your shoulder a lot. You're trying to make sure you're not getting scammed. You're having to um, basically haggle with prices and, and you're... <sighs> sitting there trying to trying to catch a deal with cabs and things like that it just it was not Korea <laughs> where you just get in the cab and go and you just trust the meter and you trust cacao taxi or whatever it just wasn't the same and there was a lot of mental energy that went into keeping our family safe and making sure that we weren't being scammed and all of that jazz so while Thailand was amazing it was also mentally tiring it yeah it it was a whole mixture of both but absolutely love thailand and i absolutely do recommend it it just yeah it could it was a lot for me at the moment um so when we got back we actually were supposed to be back for about two weeks and then head to the states to visit did not happen we were exhausted all of us were and the time difference between here and Thailand isn't even that big. I think it's like two hours. But for some reason, that still really wiped us out. I, I don't know. I think it was a culmination of things. But we didn't make it to the U.S., okay? I'll just put it that way. And it was then, in July, that I decided to pull back from a lot of things I was doing. I was volunteering a lot, quite a bit. Um, and I decided, you know what? I'm still going to volunteer, but... I'm going to pull back from a lot of the unnecessary volunteer volunteering like when places have enough volunteers and I'm just one in a number in a number I'm just not going to do it I'm going to step back in between July and VBS Isabella had her last day of school at her Korean school um she was loving Korean school uh, but there were a couple of reasons why we moved her to base school and one of the reasons is as you know if you've been around for a while I Isabella was an IUGR baby that's intrauterine regrowth, growth restriction I will try and at least think about posting a video about her being IUGR somewhere up here um but yeah so she IUGR so because of that she does have some um delay issues in her uh mental growth um and that included speech now you can understand what isabella says about 85 percent of the time but um the other 15 percent of the time it's you're like huh what and then she hates repeating herself and then it becomes a whole ordeal and yeah just no so she gets speech at the elementary school on base and what i was having to do was go get her in a cab because i don't drive here so go get her in a cab from her school, take her to the elementary school for speech, and then take her from the elementary school back to her school to finish the school day. And that was a bit much. It was only like once a week, but it still was a bit much. And I just thought, how much better would it be if she could just go to the school where her speech uh, therapist is? Um, also, she went to a scholars uh, academy. So they were heavy on the academics. And I'm not a big fan on being heavy on academics at five. Um, I'm just not. Um, but this is an Asian country and we know that they tend to go hardcore with the education. So it was to be expected. But how wonderful would it be if she went to a school where she could have recess and then and have recess outside on a playground and you know just really have moments of enjoying herself and playing with her friends instead of it just being academics so that was another reason i fact um that was another reason why we looked at her going to base school instead of going to the korean school and we loved her korean school i highly recommend it scholars english over in the susangu area if you come to daegu i highly highly recommend it i think kids can go there from two to seven or two to eight something like that so um yeah now she's in the kindergarten on bays and um 
my friend a friend of mine is actually her teacher so that is wonderful and yeah she gets speech therapy twice a week now because she's right there in the school and I'm really appreciating it so I had a little party for her at scholars before she left and that was really cute and then she stayed home for a few weeks until school started up at the school on base she and johanna both attended vbs johanna attended as a volunteer because she's old enough to do that now and of course isabella attended as an attendee so that was amazing then i think i told you guys this i am the second vp of programs for pwoc um on our base and that means i am developing all of the programs that we do for the year and that's a lot of work um but it's enjoyable work because i love planning events and things like that so it's enjoyable work but it is a lot of work and that started we had kickoff <laughs> we had kickoff the day after isabella's birthday party so her birthday isn't until september but kickoff was the monday after her party which was in august because where i wanted to have her party and when i wanted to have it it was closed because that was actually chusok weekend here in uh korea and that's like korea's thanksgiving so it's a huge holiday so i couldn't have it on her birthday weekend so i had to move it to august that was that was something the birthday party turned out beautifully she had great fun um and the kickoff turned out beautifully but it was exhausting your girl did not sleep okay it was exhausting so then after that we had a church retreat up in seoul i did not see a bit of seoul because the church retreat was all day for two days i think i think we went up on a friday it was all day on saturday and sunday and then we came back on monday i think that's how it went anyway it was all day so um i didn't see a bit of soul we stayed in dragon hill lodge and that's what i saw um then after all of that was done i was just trying to breathe and rest and catch up but then isabella got sick and then she got johanna sick and then johanna got me sick so then i was resting but not resting because i didn't feel good so october was me finally getting back to good finally getting on a schedule and that's what i've been trying to do since then so i've been busy i've been busy and i've been trying to get back to doing videos and it's really hard once you put the camera down and you're no longer doing videos it's really hard to pick it back up and film everything um you kind of get used to just not doing that and not posting because even if i would film i wasn't posting and then a lot of stuff i did film previously is on a device that is now defective um and i need to find a way to get the footage off of there and that just was that just mentally that just seemed like a lot and then doing the thailand videos there's so much information i want to give on thailand there's so much footage that i have to wade through to see what i can use and what i can't use and so it's just it's so much it's a lot it's a lot but i'm going to do it i'm going to do it in fact the next video that you see is going to be the kids they're reviewing snacks that i got them from thailand that they want to share with you guys so i am going to get to it you guys will see the thailand video before christmas um that is my goal but um yes so we do have a couple of trips coming up before the end of the year i just wanted to say in front of the camera 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 to update you guys on what is going on with us what, what is happening with life right now that's what i meant to say that is the update on me i think that's all it might not be but but i'm back making videos posting videos thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up please 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 you please it takes nothing but like a little click a second to give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.